See, uh, there is a saying that to any country's civilization is known by its richness in biodiversity, flora and fauna. In India, having only 2.4% of the geographical area, it has more than 7.5% richness in biodiversity of the whole world. Now, uh, when I see as a forester, after a long innings uh, uh, as a forest officer, after having worked in the state level, then the national level, then even the international level, what I realize is the demand and supply. The main challenge today I feel is this, how to strike a balance between the environmental stability and development. India being one of the fast developing countries in the world now in South Asia, now uh, if I take the example of suppose mountain states like Uttarakhand, what we feel today is we have to strike a balance. On one hand, we, have, we are supposed to conserve, preserve our rich biodiversity. On the other hand, uh, Yes, development is the need of the hour. People's, uh, people's expectation is too high. Now, that is one part. The second is uh, uh, how best we can get involved the people. I am, uh, I am as a forester, uh, vouch for one thing, that Uttarakhand is one of the leading states that believes in community-based natural resource management, CB and RM approach. And we have, just like joint forest management committees in other parts of the country, we have one panchayas, 12,000 plus one panchayas. So my endeavor has been as a principal chief of the forest during the last three, four years, how best we can make use of the well-structured one panchayas, get involved the people in the, not only in the protection of forest, but even the uh, issues related to even wildlife. Because in our, in our state, in our province like Uttarakhand, we have on one hand national animal like tiger, almost uh, say, 250 or 240 uh, tigers are there in the state. On the other hand, we have the rarest of the rare species like uh, musk deer or uh, monal or tragopine. So, so that on one hand, that is yes, we have the uniqueness, but on the other hand, is the challenge or the problem is how to conserve them, how to protect them. Um, so, my next question to you is that while the endeavor is to protect in uh, at the same time ensuring that development is also taking place. Uh, but we also understand that most of the population is uh, you know, uh, poor, that the poverty is a very big issue in the country and they also depend on the natural resources for their livelihood needs. Um, in order to convince them to change their livelihood patterns yes, and yes. habits, how difficult is this? Yes, we have already submitted to use one project to JICA, uh, Japanese International Cooperation Agency, and the ministry has also uh, approved it in principle. Uh, again, the idea is on one hand, the poverty is a reality. On the other hand, uh, the challenge is how best we can uh, get delinked uh, the people with the forest. Now, ecotourism aspect is one of them. I think in the, if we uh, take up certain areas, to, uh, tourism destinations, so with the help of the people, involvement of the people, if we develop certain number of ecotourism destinations in the state, in the country, certainly thousands and thousands of people are going to be benefited. Second, the payment for environmental services is another, another field uh, that can also get benefited the people because after all, from the forest area, water, uh, water gets recharged, the water system gets recharged, and the, uh, it's not only the particular that province or that area per se, but whole of, like in the case of North India, if we give example of the Ganges or Yamuna or even the Brahmaputra northeast of uh, India, uh, thousand, millions and millions of people are dependent on uh, rivers for their productivity of agriculture crop and even other cash crops and, and the livelihood also directly linked with the water system of the whole of the North India or northeast of India. So, so the idea is how to get involved the people, how best without, uh, without uh, disturbing the ecosystem, we can get benefited the people by way of ecotourism or linking with the PES or maybe some of the other aspect, non-timber forest produce. Those areas are also very, very rich in uh, say medicinal plants or aromatic plants and that can also be properly su on sustainable basis harnessed or harvested and linked with the livelihood option. Right, right, right. Thank you very much, sir, for your time.